Hello? Alan Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. Where is it? Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you I, write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I'm a talk show tonight. Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Hey. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? A recording? Mm. Let's see. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. 
This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I uh, sad to say, I, uh, I've not written this. Uh, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. <sighs> I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alex. <laughs> Always talk of meta narratives. Expecting to disappear once this scene ends. Huh. <gasps> 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 that interview some kind of joke initiation I never wrote a book called initiation this felt like a bad dream could make a good horror story I can't open that in between with mr. Dahl. old gods of Asgard that name sounded familiar 665 the neighbor of the beasts was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? My interpretation of many were Dr. Casper Darling. Okay.
All right, let's open that. Uh, I think it would be 665, I suppose, right? Yeah, that's the only number I found. Nothing here. There's something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Huh. In between with Mr. Dor. What's that? I can't go. Uh-huh. Whoa. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Mm. Gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. No goals? Radio. Okay. Writer's room. Initiation drum. Mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. Mm. On other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Okay. Uh, get back to writing. The dark place. You must write to escape. Trapped. You must write to escape. Okay. Let's get back to writing, I suppose. Thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. Hmm. I use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, 
As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I... I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Oh, Should we wow. roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but hey. there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing we shed light on this sordid mystery. Hey. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Hey. Okay. All right, let's go. It's locked. The same thing. How about this one? No, that's the same thing. So let's open the 665 again, I suppose. Hey? Huh? No? Is it different this time? Number six, just six. No, five, six, five. Oh, okay, five, six, five, huh? That was lucky.
janitor's office. Ah, no raid. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Uh, not the one without the other. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's a man, but the man with the tool makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with the two can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Okay. Janitor's key. Have we met? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. Yeah. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Okay. Ah. Talk show studio in between with Mr. Dor. Summit the cap. Okay, so the green room is here. Uh, where do I need to go? Alice's photograph. Okay, so the basement shortcut. I can go janitor's room. And then the basement shortcut. To first floor to basement. I see. Or I can go from here, right? This one is closed. This one is closed. This is the stage. This is the lobby. Okay. And this is the exit, right? So that's where we need to go. So I can go to the basement, uh, get the Alice's photograph, uh, go through the laundry, I suppose. First floor shortcut. I can go here and then the exit, right? Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Alright. Let me see if I can go to the basement shortcut from here. Okay, it's closed. Aha. Uh -huh. So now I just gotta go from here, right? That one goes back to where? That's the green room. Okay, this is the room I went into. Okay, so that one goes to the band room, Mr. Door. Okay. So we gotta go here, right? Let's open that. Ah, uh, the basement. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So we need to go there, right? So let's go there first, I suppose. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Nice. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Where do I need to go? To the laundry, right? I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, ah. shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. That's some mechanic, man. That goes there. This is the first order shortcut. Let me see if I can open that. I needed to find another way out. Okay. to draw me. Okay. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The light switch. I lost it. But I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use mm. the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass, that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake? That's not like. Oh. Okay. If 
find a way out of the talk show. Aha! Mm, let's save it. What else is here? Shoe box. Where is the shoe box? Aha. Uh -huh. It has nothing. The shoe box can store your items. Alan can access stored items from many shoe box in the dark place. I see, I see. So it's like a give that to me. Ah oh, no. So I guess I have to leave it here if I want to go out. Hmm. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I, I'm losing you. Hello? Mm. Hello? <laughs> Subway pass. Initiation two. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Okay. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Okay, so let's see. So this is the talk show radio, right? This is where we came from. So we are here. So we exited here, came here. We have to go there, it seems like. However, I want to check here first. So maybe there's some goodies. Uh, let's not get close to him, I suppose. Okay. 
Uh, let me check around here. This is the plaza, right? I see some lights. Let's go. Let's go uh, here. Where do we need to Fuck. Okay, don't mind me, just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. I wanted to keep the Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe okay. I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The lamp was dead in my hand. Okay. I needed to find a light for it. All right. So I need to find a. I need to find a light source, right? Basically. Oh, I see one there. Okay. So let's go there, I suppose. Nighthood elimination. Okay, it's a locked gate. Let me check what's on the other side. If I can find something there. We are never out of your way. Okay. Let's go here. The writing, the radio, the map. Okay. Do I have any clue? Of the huh. is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey, we met at Door Show. Alan Wake, the writer. Mm. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. 
Damn. Got my flashlight and a gun. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. Okay, I can't get up. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. But I see something there. Huh. What is that? Huh? Does it just loop around or what? I think it does. I have the light shows, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had I written this? Okay. I had to come this words of power, so I forgot this one can be used to make wake stronger you can assign them in the writer's room okay words of fix words of gun words of war words of aid words of stuff words of action words of lamp okay so how many words of power i got provides five percent chance to not consume ammo when firing the revolver Increase knockback force of allen shotgun by 15 percent increases the fag flare gun all right uh, words of fix increases maximum health increases max amount of health restored in safe haven uh, restore 50 percent okay i have words of fix one right so i can increase the max health let's do that yeah I think that's this is where I come from, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to go that way. Shit! With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. is that I 
y eso también. Flashlight, I could fight back. Already? I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. That's fine, but I think hey, what's this? Uh, that's the words of power, right? I got that. But since I can open the light now, the nodes now, maybe I could go back and check that place out. Let me check. Ah, I see something there. Fix. Words of fix. Nice. All right, let's go. Go, go from here, right? There, right? I suppose. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. Okay. So where would I find that? Give me that battery pack, nice. No charges, right? Give me that. Nothing? All right. Ah, subway undiscovered map. So I guess I have to go back and then find another light. That seems to be the case, right? Let's go back out. I see that. 
So this one is open now, right? Basically. Seems like this path is open. Should I take this back? I guess it's back. Okay. I needed to find a way around that fence. Okay. So I can go there. Alright. But let me check what's here first. It's personal. Increase the damage dealt to enemy in close proximity by 10%. Ellen makes 20% harder for enemies to detect. Decrease damage received from the darkness projector. Let's just go for action. Uh, the I still have one more word for fix, it says. Okay. I think max health is always good. Right. So let's go there. Aha. Give me that. Thank you. Handgun ammo. Battery pack. Quick slot. Let's do one. Nice. Can I get in? Aha. Uh -huh. huh? Where? Words of gun. I got that. So we are gonna go here, right? Basically. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, let's go up. Anything up above? No. Uh, Night Springs. What is that? Nothing. 
cult of the words. Can I go up above from here? I guess that's how it is, right? Huh. Okay. Let's go up. Give me battery pack, please. Nice, thank you. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, echo. Well. Check here before I go down. Align the echo by approaching it on a, a specific angle. Uh, night spring. Ah. to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> I see. But some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain, or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises under my skin, like tattoos. Bruises in my soul. Scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling. And I never stopped drinking. Hmm. Okay. 